Then, the river began to ripple, and a figure emerged. The man who fell in love with a ghost. Once upon a time, in a small village in Africa, there lived a young man named Uba. Uba was tall, strong, and handsome. He was the pride of his family and the envy of many young men in the village. But Uba had one flaw. He was very picky when he came to choosing a wife. Every maiden in the village wanted to marry Oba. They admired his looks, his strength, and his charm. But no matter how many maidens were brought to him, Oba always found something wrong with each of them. This one is not pretty enough, he would say. Or, that one is too short. This one does not have smooth skin, and so on. He would sometimes even laugh at the maidens and send them away in anger. His parents, who were very kind and wise, tried to advise him. Oba, no one is perfect. You should just not be so harsh. Beauty is not everything. You need a kind and loving wife. That's all. The mother always advised. One sunny morning, Uba decided to take a walk to the river. The river was a beautiful place with clear water that sparkled in the sunlight. The birds sang sweetly in the trees and the flowers bloomed in bright colors along the water banks. As Oba walked, he suddenly saw a young woman by the water. She was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. Her skin was so smooth and glowing, her hair long and shiny, and her eyes sparkled like the stars. Oba's heart skipped a bit. He had never seen such a beauty. Hello, Uba called out to her, his voice trembling with excitement. Who are you? he said. The young woman turned and smiled at him. My name is Amara, she said softly. Uba felt like he was dreaming. Amara, you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Will you marry me? Amara's smile faded a little. Are you sure? You don't even know me, she asked, surprised. But I know you are the one for me, Uba insisted. Please marry me and make me the happiest man in the world. Amara looked at him for a long moment, then nodded slowly. Very well, Uba. I'll marry you then. Uba was overjoyed. He ran back to the village to tell his parents. But when he told them about Amara, they were not happy. His father looked at him and said, Uba, you do not know anything about this woman. So, how would you marry somebody you don't know? She could be from far away village, or worse, she could be a spirit. You must be very careful, my son. But Uba would not listen. I did not care. I love her and I must marry her, he said stubbornly. Despite his parents' warning, Uba and Amara were soon married. At first, Everything seemed perfect. 
Amara was as kind and loving as she was beautiful. She cooked delicious meals, kept the house tidy, and always smiled. But soon, strange things began to happen. At night, Uba would hear whispers and footsteps in the house. But when he checked, no one was there. Sometimes, he would find Amara standing by the window, staring out in the darkness, her eyes glowing strangely. One night, Uba woke up to find Amara gone. He searched the house and couldn't find her. He decided to walk towards the river. And he was surprised to see Amara talking to the water. When he called out to her, she turned and looked at him with eyes that were so strange and no longer human. They glowed bright red and her face looked pale and ghostly. Amara, what is happening? Uba asked, his voice shaking with fear. Amara's voice was cold and distant. I am not what you think I am, Uba. I am a spirit. I came from the river. You married a goddess. I am partly goddess and a ghost. Uba's heart filled with terror. He ran back to the village and told his parents everything. They were shocked but not surprised. They had warned him but he hadn't listened. From that day on, Uba's life became a nightmare. His beautiful home became a place of fear and sorrow. Strange noises filled the night. Shadows moved on their own and cold winds blew through the house. Uba could not sleep or eat. He was terrified. One day, Uba's parents decided to seek help from the village elder, a wise man named Baba. Baba listened to their stories and said, You have made a grave mistake, Uba. You married a spirit and now you must face the consequences and find ways to free yourself from her. Uba was shaky. But how? How can I escape her? Uba said, looking desperate and scared. Baba thought for a moment, then said, You must go to the river at night and speak to the spirits there. They may help you. Last night, Uba went to the river his heart pounding with fear. The moon was full and the water glowed silver in the moonlight. Uba stood by the river banks and called out, Spirits of the river, please help me. Then the river began to ripple and a figure emerged. It was an old woman her hair white as snow, her eyes kind but sad. Why do you call us, young man? she said. I need help, Uba replied. I married a spirit and now I am suffering. How can I free myself from her? Please help me. The old woman looked at him sadly. You must return her to the river. Only then will you be free. But how? Uba asked. She is powerful and angry. How do I find her? You must find the necklace she wears, the old woman said. It holds her powers. Take it from her and throw it into the river. Then she will be forced to return. Uba nodded and thanked the old woman. 
he returned home, determined to end his suffering. That night, Uba waited until Amara came back. As she slept, he carefully reached for the necklace around her neck and pulled it off. Amara's eyes flew open as she screamed, but Oba ran to the river and threw the necklace back into the water. A great wind blew and Amara appeared by the water, her eyes glowing and rage. What have you done, Oba? she cried. I am freeing myself from you, Amara. Go back to where you belong, please. Go back. Amara's face twisted with anger, but then she began to fade. Her body dissolved into mist as she was gone. Oba fell to his knees, exhausted but relieved. He had done it. He was free. From that day on, Uba was the changed man. He learned to value kindness and love over beauty. He apologized to the maidens he had hurt and treated some everyone with respect. He realized that true beauty came from within. Years later, Uba married a lady from his village. They lived happily and Uba never forgot the lessons he had learned. He often told his children and his grandchildren the story of Amara, the ghost from the river, so they would understand the importance of looking beyond appearance. And so Uba's story became a lesson for all, reminding everyone that true beauty lies in the heart and that we should always listen to the wisdom of those who love us. Do you know that Agolo Lake is found in Agolo Town, Anambra State in Southeast Nigeria? People say the lake belonged to a water god called Idemili and has special powers. The lake is believed to decide who can stay safe in it and who might drown. The lake is also home to many animals, especially crocodiles and water turtles. There are about 300 of these creatures in Agulu Lake. Thanks for watching Love from the Classic Stories.